Each spring, something truly magical happens in the heart of the Great Plains. Named by National Geographic as one of the greatest wildlife phenomena in North America, this annual event is a one-of-a-kind, breathtaking experience. Get ready to witness the Great Sandhill Crane Migration. Hey, I'm Julana, and I travel the world seeking out the coolest wildlife encounters. We're going to be getting up close and personal with tons of different animals, and along the way, we'll learn their stories, their struggles, and how we can help. It's time to care for our wildlife and share our planet. It's time for Wild Adventures. Today's wild adventure brings me to central Nebraska, where I'll be traveling along the Central Flyway to witness one of nature's most spectacular migrations. Every year, from mid-February to mid-April, over half a million sandhill cranes descend upon an 80-mile stretch of habitat in rural Nebraska, making this the largest crane migration in the world. This is my first time ever seeing a wildlife migration and I am so excited. On this trip, I've been lucky enough to partner with Visit Nebraska and they've really been helpful in planning the process. To make sure that we see this migration from every angle possible, we're gonna be hitting three different towns on the Nebraska Flyway. We're going to be waking up early for sunrise viewings, going out and searching in the cornfields, and of course, learning all about the cranes and their ecosystem. Our journey starts in Grand Island, Nebraska, at the Crane Trust. The Crane Trust, a nonprofit organization, was established in 1978 to protect and maintain critical habitat for sandhill cranes and other migratory birds along the Platte River. After learning about the habitat, we headed out into the field to witness our very first crane viewing. More than 80% of the world's population of sandhill cranes, around 600,000 birds, gather on Nebraska's Platte River Valley as they migrate from their overwintering sites along the southern U.S. and Mexico to their breeding grounds in northern Canada, Alaska, and Siberia. Cranes have been making this migration for over 10,000 years, and this short stretch of the Platte River is the only pit stop they make. Each crane will spend about three weeks here to rest and refuel before continuing on their journey north. On some days, they will fly up to 400 miles. The VIP experience here is one of the most unique things I have ever done. We get to sleep on the property so that we can see the cranes during sunset when they're coming in for their evening roost, and again at sunrise when they're waking up by the thousands. Another animal bonus is that there's a massive herd of bison right behind our cabins. As part of managing the ecosystem here, biologists have introduced bison back into the grasslands. The American bison came to the Crane Trust in 2013 and we've grown the herd to over 120 animals now. And we're really looking at putting their impact back on the prairies, protection of the species in the future with other conservation herds, and turning back that historical grazer back onto the prairie landscape. This rare herd of genetically pure bison lives at the Crane Trust. So imagine going to sleep next to bison and then waking up as the sun rises along with thousands of cranes getting ready to start the new day. Good morning. It's like 6.30 in the morning. It's pitch black. We are going out for a sunrise watch. We're gonna watch the cranes wake up and take off for the day. I'm really excited. Look at the moon.
Cranes are among the oldest living birds on the planet, and sandhill cranes are actually named after the sand hills near the Platte River here in Nebraska. They're three to four feet tall, weigh six to 12 pounds, and have a wingspan of up to seven feet. They live 20 to 40 years and they mate for life. Next, we headed over to Kearney, another Nebraska town along the Central Flyway, just in time to catch another sunset viewing. The Ian Nicholas Audubon Center at Rowe Sanctuary focuses on conservation of the Platte River ecosystem and all the birds that rely on it. Tons of migratory birds and wildlife depend on the Platte River for survival. The shallow channels of the river provide safe roosting sites and the wet meadows and fields nearby provide the food they need to bulk up for their migration. This was my favorite viewing of the entire trip. A drive down any country road will surely lead you to a cornfield where you can catch cranes feasting and dancing throughout the day. To see the cranes in the cornfields, we teamed up with Dusty, owner of Dusty Trails. He's been running crane tours for years and we had a blast listening to his stories and fun facts about the cranes. The last thing we learned about sandhill cranes is that they're known for their dancing skills. While courting, they'll stretch their wings, bob their heads, bow, and leap gracefully into the air. We've just seen what one of the last wildlife migrations in the entire world looks like. And the coolest thing about this experience is that you can come and see it for yourself. Thanks so much for joining me on today's wild adventure. If you love animals and care about protecting our wildlife, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss an adventure. See you in the wild.